Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. More about them in a bit. In this video, I'd like to share some simple healthy habits that I've taken up lately, along with some that I've practiced for a long time. I hope they can inspire you if you feel that you could use some new healthy habits too. The habit that I've kept up for the longest is definitely my daily walks. I started walking years ago when I lived in my second house. There was a trail in the woods nearby my old neighborhood and I loved going there first thing in the morning and do a fast walk up and down the wood chip covered electric light trail. I enjoyed how it woke me up and I loved hearing the birds wake up too and see the seasons change in those woods. When I moved back into the city almost four years ago, I was happy to realize that there are ways to walk around the lake right by my apartment in about an hour. It took me a while to find the perfect route, but after a few times when I got a bit lost, I found the route that I now walk at least five times a week. I usually walk on weekdays before I start my workday and it's such a great way to clear any cobwebs, relieve stress and stay fit. And speaking of stress relief, a big thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. My mom hasn't been well this year and with her being six hours away from me, as well as not being able to practice my regular daily habits while traveling to see her, has been mentally stressful. We're in a good place now, but knowing that I can reach out to BetterHelp is such a great feeling. If something is interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals, BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist, and you can start communicating within 48 hours. It's not a crisis line, it's not self-help, it's professional therapy done securely online. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network, which may not otherwise be available where you live and the service is available worldwide. You can send a message to your therapist anytime and they will get back to you with timely and thoughtful responses. You can also schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. BetterHelp is committed to matching you with a therapist that suits your needs and they also make it easy and free of charge to change therapists if needed. It's more affordable than traditional offline therapy and financial aid is available. Join the over 2 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional and start living a happier life today. Go to betterhelp.com benita and get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com. A new healthy habit that I've taken up fairly recently is doing lymph exercises. Since I had surgery about a year ago, I tend to feel a bit stiff and bloated in my upper body, and I was stretching daily. A few months ago, I took a course on how to boost the lymphatic system and learned so much. I realized that those exercises helped me more than the other daily stretching that I used to do. Exercise can help the lymphatic system flow more effectively, and since my lymphatic system is a bit compromised, I want to make sure to boost it as much as possible. I learned that you should wake your lymphatic system up to keep everything flowing. So in order to wake it, I do a few simple exercises, either at home or as part of my morning walk. I do some angel wings, shoulder rolls and other movements and I feel they really help me from feeling tense in the upper body. On the same note, there are other things you can do to keep your lymphatic system happy as well. Like self-care, like massaging your whole body in a specific sequence and where you always end the strokes under the armpit or in the dip above the collarbone. It can feel like all these things are very time-consuming. 
but I was inspired by the fact that you can build these new habits into habits you already have. So instead of setting aside specific time for self-care, I massage in the shower, when I dry myself off with my towel, and when I put lotion on. One more thing that I learned is that in order to let your lymphatic system flow, you should avoid wearing tight things that cut off circulation. So I make sure, for instance, to pick drawstring that I can adjust instead of tight elastic. I also don't tie my shoelaces too hard, wear too tight socks, and make sure my bra is not cutting in. Such simple things that can make a big difference. A habit that I'm working on daily is adjusting my posture. I tend to have bad posture. I sometimes notice that I'm slouching because I can feel it, but I notice it even more when I see myself as I edit my videos. So I've taken up reminding myself to pull my shoulders back and down and push my chest forward. When I'm working at the computer, but also when I walk. When I walk, I make sure to look up at the scenery instead of down on my feet, which helps too. I work from home these days and if I'm not filming, I'm at the computer. When I'm editing these videos, I get stuck at the screen for hours. Luckily I have my rocking desk chair which helps me get some movement in, but I also make sure to take breaks. Some days I set a timer for an hour and when the alarm goes off I take a break. That break can consist of doing some of the same exercises I did in the morning. A few angel wings and some shoulder rolls is all it takes to feel refreshed. Sometimes I take out the trash or recycling or scrub the kitchen sink. Just to do something that breaks up the sitting at the computer for a little while. This isn't necessarily a daily habit, but it's definitely a weekly one, so I'm including it here because it's an important part of my well-being and everyday mental health. Taking in some type of cultural experience on a weekly basis is so important to me. On weekends I tend not to take my morning walk, but instead make sure to walk wherever I go, if at all possible. A visit to a museum or gallery is usually on the agenda. I think I've pretty much been to every single museum in Stockholm at least once, and some I've revisited frequently when they have new exhibits. Some museums even have free admission, so it's easy to just pop inside to look at the permanent exhibits again, have fika and browse the museum shops. I usually go with a friend, but if no one has the time I'll definitely go on my own, I don't mind that at all. And those are six healthy habits that I practice. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate the support. If you're looking for sources for things, you might get lucky in the description box. There's a link that takes you to my website where I'm collecting all the links for you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, do!